If you've used an earlier version, like Windows XP or Windows 7, you'll be glad to know the Windows 8 desktop hasn't changed much. Every desktop is unique in appearance, but all share common elements, such as the recycle bin. Some desktops may include other system icons, like a user folder, this PC, formerly called My Computer, and the network icon. We'll explore the functions of each in other clips. As always, the Windows 8 desktop can have shortcuts, such as those to programs or frequently accessed files or websites. At the bottom of the desktop is the taskbar, which, out of the box, holds an icon to access the Internet Explorer browser and Windows Explorer, now called File Explorer in Windows 8. It may also contain shortcuts to your favorite programs. At the right, you'll recognize the notification area, which holds various icons to indicate network connectivity, battery strength, speaker volume, time and date, etc. Like earlier versions, you can still customize the desktop with your own photos or choose to apply one of the many themes that are included with Windows 8. New to the desktop is the Charms Bar, which is accessed by using the Windows key plus C keyboard shortcut, or if enabled, by dragging the mouse to the lower right corner of the screen. The Charms Bar is another way to get to common Windows functions, such as Search, to the Start screen, to Devices, or Settings. We'll explore the Charms Bar and its functions in more detail in another clip. Of course, the biggest difference on the desktop is the Start button, seen in the lower left corner. Instead of the standard Windows menu, the Start button now opens the Start screen and displays tiles that can be used to open programs or return to the desktop. Keep in mind, Windows 8 may be configured to display a menu of installed apps and programs instead of the Start screen. In this scenario, you would use the up arrow to get back to the Start screen and the Desktop tile to return to the desktop. This clip provides an overview of the Windows 8 desktop, but you'll want to learn more about the Start screen and its features in other clips.